Hey guys, welcome. My name is Scott Dugan, and in this video series, we're going to take a look at Nectar 2. And this is a plugin made by Isotope. Now, why would we use Nectar 2? Right away, let's just talk about what its purpose is and why it was created. The guys at Isotope realized that the vocal can be daunting for those mixers or producers that are starting out. It can be hard to control. You don't know what's wrong with it. You want to make it better, but you don't know exactly where to start. Or for those of you who have been working in the studio for a long time, you just want a tool to quickly make those vocals pop and sound good. With a couple mouse clicks, it's ready to go. It sounds great. And that's what they've done with Nectar 2. Now I'll be working with Ableton Live 9. Of course, Nectar 2 will work in any other DAW. I just happen to really like Live. And I have a couple samples loaded in, vocal samples. And I'm just going to double click and instantiate Nectar 2. Here it is, and the first time you run it, you'll just have to authorize it. There are a couple different options when it comes to authorizing. You can do an online, an offline, or an iLock authorization. And that's what I'm going to do. Plug in my iLock, hit authorize, and we're ready to go. Now this is the second incarnation of Nectar. We're looking at Nectar 2. So what's new? What makes 2 different from the first version? We'll go into all of these features in depth later, but right away we have a harmony module. We can add harmony in real time. We have a brand new reverb effect, and this is modeled after a really cool vintage stereo plate reverb. We also have a full blown pitch editor module, and with the harmony and pitch module comes the ability to detect the key that the vocal is singing in. It's a really quick way to figure out what key we should be tuning our vocals to or what key we should be adding harmony in. We also have some effects and we have this overview panel. We have really quick access to some of the most common parameters that we'll be going to a lot. So again, this is the overview and we also have an advanced view and that looks like this. And of course, we'll be coming back to this and explaining each one of these modules and how they all work in the later video. Nectar also brings an ability to switch between a mixing mode and a tracking mode. Now in mixing mode, all of our modules are full blown. We have a little bit of look ahead for say our compressor, for our de-esser, stuff like that. In tracking mode, we're gonna reduce the quality of these modules just a little bit and that allows us to hear these effects with very, very low latency. So if you want to apply this to a vocal wow it's being tracked, we can hear these effects as the person is tracking in a very low latency environment. Switch over to mix mode, and now we have the full high quality modules to work with. Next to that, we have some really useful features. We have the help button. This is gonna pull up the manual. We have a reset button. So let's say we change a lot of these parameters. Do something like that. Hitting reset. It's gonna snap everything back to the factory default. Next to that, we have the history button. Now this is gonna record everything we just did. So all those parameter changes, it's gonna record for us. So I can go back to my very first or second parameter change. Or bring it all the way up to the last change that I made before I reset it. We also have some snapshots. So let's say I wanna do some A being. I can set A, change some things here, now set B, and I can now toggle back and forth between those two settings. Really, really powerful and so easy to use. And of course I can hit the reset and go all the way back to the factory default. Next to that, we have the options page here. And then finally, we have the bypass button. So we can hear what this plugin sounds like turned on and of course turned off. If you remember, when we first instantiated this plugin, we had some presets. If we wanna get back to those and look at those again, we can click here to load a preset. And here they are. So there is the very, very basic layout of Nectar 2. Stay tuned. And in the next video, we'll just dive in and start using it. 